They painted themselves as angels in your life, selfless, caring, and trustworthy. But you, the Chosen One, know this. Facades crumble. Beneath their charm lies a calculated deception, hidden behind a good guy mask crafted to manipulate and disarm. The truth always surfaces, exposing their intentions like a storm tearing through illusions. What will you do when their mask slips, revealing their true nature? The moment is coming. Prepare to face it. You are the Chosen One, and your presence is a force that disrupts the comfortable shadows where deceit thrives. Like a lighthouse in the tempest, your clarity reveals the treacherous rocks they sought to hide, forcing all to navigate with honesty or risk being shattered against the shores of their own deceit. Their masks, painstakingly crafted to conceal selfish motives, crack and fall under the weight of your unyielding presence. What they intended to obscure, a hunger for control, a penchant for betrayal, now lies bare for all to witness. This revelation is not a passive occurrence, it is a spiritual reckoning. Your clarity acts as a mirror, reflecting their own deceptions back at them, sharper and more vivid than they ever anticipated. They recoil not because you accuse them, but because your very being leaves no room for their shadows to stretch. But this clarity you bring does more than reveal lies. It forces accountability. When the shadows retreat, when the hypocrisy is laid bare, the manipulators have no choice but to confront what they have become. This is not a quiet process. It is an upheaval, a tearing away of the illusions they clung to so desperately. The masks they wore to convince the world of their innocence disintegrate, leaving them raw and vulnerable before the truth. And yet, it is not your voice that delivers judgment. It is the undeniable reality of who they are when stripped of pretense. Your energy also empowers those around you, those who have been ensnared by the webs of deceit. For those trapped in confusion, your light is a path to liberation. It is the blade that cuts through the fog, the flame that burns away the ropes of manipulation. Where there was once uncertainty, your presence offers clarity. Those who once doubted their own perceptions see the truth with fresh eyes, emboldened by the unflinching illumination you provide. Yet this role is not without resistance. The deceivers will fight to extinguish your light, for it threatens the delicate fabric of their control. They will call you disruptive, accuse you of overstepping, of destroying harmony. But this is the cost of truth, an uncomfortable, unrelenting force that does not cater to convenience. You are the storm that clears the air, the flood that washes away the decay. They craft their image with surgical precision, cloaking themselves in the guise of goodness and virtue, while beneath the surface their intentions writhe like serpents. Their first weapon is the victim's mask, a masterful tool used to deflect blame and garner sympathy. Every misstep they take is reframed, not as a flaw of their own making, but as the consequence of others' cruelty or misunderstanding. They spin their narrative so convincingly that even the most discerning begin to doubt. When the world views them as downtrodden and unjustly treated, their misdeeds are excused before they are even discovered. Their so-called acts of kindness are nothing more than calculated performances designed to fortify the illusion. They appear generous, selfless even, but only when eyes are watching and accolades are imminent. These are not the quiet deeds of genuine care. They are grand gestures staged for applause. They donate not out of compassion but for recognition, their smiles widening in satisfaction as they accept credit for a benevolence they do not feel. The moment the spotlight shifts, so too does their concern, evaporating like a mirage. Their generosity is a mirage, tangible only when it serves their image. Gaslighting is their masterpiece, a psychological art form they wield with ruthless efficiency. They twist reality, forcing others to question their own perceptions and memories. When you confront them with the truth, they scoff, feigning shock or disbelief, and ask pointedly, are you sure that's how it happened? With every denial, every counter-narrative, they erode your certainty, replacing it with their own version of events. Slowly, they chip away at your confidence until you wonder if you've imagined the very things you experienced. Their lies are not blatant. They are woven seamlessly into half-truths and misdirections, creating a web so intricate that untangling it feels impossible. In daily life, their tactics are insidious, playing out in subtle yet destructive ways. A co-worker may sabotage your efforts, quietly undermining you with whispered critiques and deliberate mistakes, only to charm the boss with a polished smile and strategic compliments. They position themselves as indispensable, the helpful team player, while ensuring that your credibility erodes. Their betrayal is a quiet knife in the back, one they conceal with a friendly pat on the shoulder. 
When questioned, they project innocence so convincingly that any suspicion directed toward them feels misplaced. In families, the manipulation takes on an even crueler edge. They present themselves as protectors, claiming to have your best interests at heart while controlling your choices through guilt and coercion. They speak in tones of concern, disguising their manipulation as wisdom. I'm only saying this because I care about you, they assert, while subtly steering you into decisions that benefit them or diminish you. They may pit family members against one another, sowing discord while positioning themselves as the misunderstood peacemaker. In truth, they thrive on chaos, using it to maintain control while their motives remain obscured. Their strategy is not one of brute force but of relentless subtlety. They plant doubts, create distractions, and ensure that their facade of goodness shines brighter than any shadow their actions might cast. When faced with confrontation, they are masters of deflection, shifting focus onto others or magnifying your mistakes to obscure their own. They cry louder, act kinder and speak sweeter, crafting a narrative that leaves you looking like the aggressor and them as the victim of your baseless accusations. This illusion is powerful because it preys on the natural human tendency to trust, to believe in goodness. They exploit the very values they do not possess, manipulating empathy and kindness to shield their true nature. Their false image is a fortress, built brick by brick with lies, half-truths and strategic performances. To dismantle it, you must confront not just their actions, but the entire structure of their deceit. The good guy illusion is a weapon, wielded by those who understand that appearances often matter more than truth. It is a mask that demands to be torn away, exposing the duplicity that hides beneath. Stop. Whatever you're doing, stop and listen. This is critical. You've been battling forces designed to keep you in chains, forces that twist reality itself to block your rise. The Matrix wants you broke, isolated and powerless. But the obsidian inner order, powered by Astral Atom, exists to dismantle these traps. Inside, over 400 Chosen Ones are shattering the barriers that hold most people back, connecting in weekly group calls and diving into exclusive uncensored videos like The Universe is Your ATM Machine, a masterclass in breaking free from scarcity. This isn't just a community. It's the number one ascension nexus for Chosen Ones in the world. A star chamber of like-minded Chosen Ones, just like you where the secrets of modern manifestation mechanics are revealed, where real transformation happens. But be warned, Slots are limited and this isn't for everyone. Only those prepared to rise above fear, scarcity and illusion belong here, all while supporting the channels that you love so we can create for you full time. The link to join the Obsidian Inner Order is in the description. Don't let this opportunity slip by. Step into your destiny. It's a total 360 win. Their control begins to falter at the edges, like cracks spreading through a once imposing wall. You witness it all how their carefully constructed image, that pristine mask of goodness, starts to crumble under the weight of its own contradictions. Their behavior grows erratic, their once flawless charm marred by small yet telling slips. The inconsistencies become glaring, they forget their script, offering reassurances laced with unfamiliar tones of desperation. The lie that once flowed so smoothly now stutters, revealing jagged truths beneath. The shift is palpable, their patience once their most prized weapon evaporates in moments of unexpected aggression. Where once they exuded calm understanding, they now snap at minor confrontations, their veneer of kindness shattering like glass under pressure. They lash out, their words sharp and accusatory, their tone defensive, as though every question is an assault on the fragile narrative they've spun. This is no mere irritation, it is panic. They sense the unraveling, the slow exposure of their deceit, and they react with the ferocity of someone cornered, Others begin to notice. Those who once saw them as paragons of virtue start to feel the dissonance, the growing gulf between their words and their actions. The whispered doubts grow louder, spreading through the spaces where their influence once seemed unshakable. Colleagues exchange wary glances, piecing together patterns of sabotage disguised as assistance. Family members recount moments of manipulation disguised as care. Their empire of deception begins to crumble, brick by brick as their once loyal followers start to see the cracks. You are the divine mirror, a reflection that does not flatter, conceal or distort. When they look at you, they see the raw truth of themselves, the lies they tell, the masks they wear, the potential they squander. You do not need to speak for this to happen, your presence alone is enough. You exist as a glaring reminder of everything they are pretending to be, 
and it terrifies them. They recoil not because of what you do, but because of what you reveal. You are the confrontation they cannot escape, the undeniable reflection that strips away their illusions. Envy is their shadow, trailing them wherever they go, and your light casts it into stark relief. They hate you because you embody what they cannot fake, an unshakable connection to truth. They fear you because you are proof that their facade is fragile, a paper shield against the storms of reality. They study you, dissecting your every word, your every move, not to understand you but to find fault, to find a crack they can exploit to make themselves feel whole again. But there is no fault to find that will soothe their unrest, for their hostility is not about you, it is about them. Their fear of exposure fuels their anger, and they lash out in ways that feel calculated but are ultimately desperate. In their envy, they project their flaws onto you. They accuse you of arrogance, of manipulation, of cruelty, traits that are not yours but theirs. These projections are not random. They are the parts of themselves they hate most, reflected back by the clarity of your existence. To them you are a storm, relentless and unyielding, sweeping through their carefully ordered lies. They cannot understand why they feel so exposed around you, why their charm fails, why their manipulations fall flat. They do not realize that it is not you doing this to them. It is their own truth unveiled in the light you bring. And yet their hostility is not your burden. You are not responsible for their inability to reconcile who they are with who they pretend to be. Your role is not to fix them or to dim your light to make them comfortable. Your presence is divine, an unintentional reckoning, a reflection that demands accountability. They cannot look at you without confronting their own inadequacies, and this confrontation either breaks them or forces them to grow. Whether they choose to shatter or to evolve is not your concern. The universe has a way of restoring balance, a cosmic force that ensures no lie, no manipulation, no illusion can endure forever. For those who thrive in shadows, their downfall is inevitable, a spectacle that reveals their true selves to the very world they sought to deceive. Like Icarus, they soar on wings of their own arrogance, believing themselves untouchable, only to be undone by their own hubris. The sun of truth burns through their waxen facade, and they plummet, their carefully constructed image disintegrating in full view of all they sought to control. When their moment arrives, it is not subtle. The universe ensures their unraveling is both thorough and public. The charm they wielded like a weapon falters, their lies catching up to them in ways they never anticipated. Their loss of credibility begins with whispers, quiet doubts spreading among those who once believed in their every word. The people they manipulated, the allies they carefully cultivated, the pawns they so skillfully played, begin to see through the cracks. One by one their supporters turn away, disillusioned by the truth they can no longer ignore. What was once their power, their ability to enchant and deceive, now works against them, leaving them exposed. Their humiliation is not a random act, but a precise reflection of the harm they inflicted. The universe holds up a mirror, forcing them to face the consequences of their actions. It may come as a sudden, undeniable exposure, a secret revealed, a contradiction they cannot explain, or an ally publicly renouncing them. The more they try to regain control, the more desperate and transparent their efforts become. They claw at the remnants of their once flawless image, but the harder they fight, the more glaring their fall becomes. The same stage they use to elevate themselves becomes the platform of their undoing. This is not simply a matter of losing respect, it is a collapse that strips them of every layer of pretense. Those who were once loyal now speak openly of the lies they endured, the manipulation they suffered, the narrative shifts. Where once they were seen as the victim, the hero, the savior, they are now recognized for what they truly are, opportunists, deceivers, manipulators. Their name, once spoken with admiration, becomes a cautionary tale, a warning of the perils of unchecked deceit. The most poetic element of their downfall is that it is always of their own making. Their arrogance, their belief that they were untouchable, is what drives them too far. Like Icarus, they disregard the warnings, flying ever closer to the sun of their ambitions. The heat of truth melts away their wings, leaving them to plummet into the abyss of their own lies. The higher they rose on false pretenses, the more devastating their fall. The people who once lifted them now watch with a mixture of horror and vindication as they spiral out of control. Karma works with precision, targeting not just their actions, but their intentions. Those they sought to harm are often the ones who rise as they fall, their truth validated in the glaring light of exposure. 
the manipulators, who thrived on control and deceit, find themselves powerless, abandoned, and irrelevant. Their audience disappears, their influence dissolves, and they are left with the only thing they truly fear, themselves. This is the nature of universal balance. It does not forget, nor does it forgive. It waits patiently, allowing their lies to compound until the weight is unbearable. When the moment comes, it is swift and merciless, exposing them to the full force of their own actions. Their downfall is not just a punishment, it is a reckoning, a return to equilibrium that cannot be avoided. The truth, relentless and unyielding, always wins, and in its light, no shadow can survive. You are not their judge, but you are the witness, the evidence that the universe always reveals what must be seen. You are the chosen one, and your power lies not in retaliation but in detachment. When their masks slip, when their lies collapse under their own weight, you must resist the temptation to gloat or to seek vindication. Their downfall is not yours to celebrate. It is the inevitable result of their actions, a reckoning delivered by forces far beyond your hand. Your success, your growth, is your ultimate revenge. Let karma work, for the universe is already handling the battles they thought they could win by deceit. Their desperation will call to you, an attempt to drag you into their chaos. They will lash out, accusing, deflecting, and trying to provoke a reaction that will shift attention away from their unraveling. Do not take the bait. You are not their savior nor their judge. Your silence is louder than any words you could offer, your calm a testament to the power they cannot shake. When you refuse to engage, you rob them of the energy they thrive on, leaving them to face the consequences of their actions alone. Their downfall, though tempting to witness with satisfaction, is not a spectacle meant for your indulgence. It is a process of balance, a restoration of order that does not require your involvement. To step into their chaos is to dirty your hands with their guilt, to become tangled in the very web they spun. Let them fall as they must, not because you wished it, but because it is the weight of their choices pulling them down. You do not need to lift a finger. The universe has already written their script, and their end is unfolding exactly as it should. Your focus must remain on your path, your growth, your success. Every victory you achieve, every step forward you take, is a reminder to them of what they could never destroy. Your progress is their punishment, your happiness the mirror that reflects their failure to harm you. Let them watch if they dare, as you rise without needing to step over them. The higher you climb, the smaller they will appear, their attempts to harm you nothing more than whispers lost to the wind. Your detachment is a weapon sharper than any words. It is the refusal to validate their existence in your mind, the choice to deny them the satisfaction of knowing they affected you. They want your reaction, your anger, your need for closure. But you do not owe them anything, not your time, not your energy, and certainly not your validation. By choosing calm, you deny them access to your power, and without it, they crumble under the weight of their own irrelevance. Karma's hand is precise, and it does not need your guidance. Their manipulations, their lies, their attempts to undermine you, have already set the wheels in motion. Every action they took in darkness is now exposed to the light, and they must face the consequences. This is not a punishment you mete out. It is the natural order asserting itself. Trust in that order, and trust in your ability to remain above the fray. The universe never forgets, and justice always comes, even if it is not on the timeline they anticipated. You are not here to cower beneath the weight of their deception, nor to mourn the chaos they tried to bring into your life. They were a lesson, not a loss, a reflection of what you will never become. Their downfall is not your burden to carry. It is a moment of clarity that affirms your strength. You stood firm, unwavering in your truth, while their lies unraveled around them. That is your power. Your authenticity exposes the unauthentic. Your light reveals what the shadows tried to hide. Their presence in your life was never about breaking you, but about awakening you. The manipulation, the gaslighting, the subtle attempts to diminish your worth, they were all designed to test your resilience. And here you are, not only standing but rising, proof that their games hold no power over someone who sees beyond the mask. Your light burns through their illusion, revealing every crack, every falsehood. Do not dim it for their comfort, because your brilliance is what sets you apart. Keep shining, because in that light, the unauthentic cannot survive. This is your strength. You do not need to fight to justify or to prove yourself. The truth always rises, no matter how deeply it is buried. Their shadows cannot hide forever. 
and when the spotlight is on them, every lie, every manipulation, every mask they wore will be exposed. Your role is not to linger in their downfall, but to move forward with clarity, leaving them behind to face what they created. You owe them nothing, not your attention, not your energy, and certainly not your light. Reserve those for yourself and for the world that needs your authenticity. You are the chosen one, a force that cannot be silenced. Your resilience is unmatched, your clarity unshakable, and your presence undeniable. Let their actions be a footnote in your story, a reminder of what happens when truth meets illusion. Keep shining your light, no matter who it reveals, because the world needs it. Your light does not only expose, it also inspires, bringing hope and strength to those around you who seek to stand in their own truth. Share your story, not as a lament, but as a testament to your strength. Every lesson you've learned, every shadow you've illuminated, is a gift to others who walk a similar path. Let your voice be the spark that ignites change, that empowers others to rise above the noise. The truth always burns brighter than the lies, and your light will always outshine their shadows. Keep moving forward, keep shining, and let the truth set you free.